Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Well, this rider to the right of me didn't have such a good uh, ride last weekend in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, Jeremy Martin, uh, talk a little bit about what happened in that main event. Yeah, well, Indy was pretty rough. You know, I came in uh, and my, I was heat number one, qualified third. Um, I knew I was going to be all right for the main and I needed a good start. I knew it was really crucial. The track was pretty, I thought, pretty tough to pass on. Um, but I got a terrible start in the main and I was working my way through the pack and it was lap six. Um, I just made a pass for 10th place and Vincent was in front of me and he went down over a jump and I had nowhere to go and I landed right on him. Just completely KO'd myself, um, bent my shifter really bad and everything and my elbow was hurting pretty bad so I ended up pulling off going to the asterisk rig and getting some x-rays and thank goodness I checked out and I'm here this weekend sore but ready to go. Jeremy, talk a little bit about, I mean at one point you were fifth in the points, now you're back to eighth because of that 20th last week and the problems, but I mean you've had a podium, you've had a couple fifths, and Arlington I remember you didn't make it to the main event but you throw out a couple of those bad ones and you're right in the mix as a rookie that's you got to be feeling pretty happy yeah I'm pretty happy you know I, I really want to get a win by the end of the season and I just want to keep moving forward and learning from my mistakes and keep building and then you know like go into the outdoors and have a good solid supercross season under my belt and I feel like it's just going to help me going into the outdoors Talk a little bit about what you learned last week in Indianapolis with that crash. I mean, would you have done something different? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely want to get a good start. It's really important. I mean, I'd say it's definitely probably 85% of the race. If you can get a good start and you can get out there and get clean laps in, you're not in the mix with people. And, you know, when everyone's in the back of the pack fighting to move forward, everyone's diving in underneath each other, trying to get each other. So, I mean, it's like they're really going for it. And you know, if you get a clear track and you're out front, you can ride your own pace and you can do your own lines. So you can definitely got a chance to break away. First time uh, for you in uh, Toronto, obviously racing, and first time in Canada for that matter, or have you been up here riding some outdoor stuff? No, I've never even been out of the country, so this is a first. How would you like going through customs? Uh, it was pretty good. I was nervous getting off the plane and you know, I've heard some stories, but I got right through and uh, it was cool. Yeah, you don't want to be like your brother and miss a flight going out of a country like uh, when uh, Alex did it uh, back in uh, Sweden. I had him over there and he, he got stuck in Holland. Yeah, he's, he's made a few mistakes and I've been able fortunate enough to learn from him.